Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel where we talk all things canvas. In case you're new here, I'm Lauren, the Canvas Queen. In today's video, we're going to take a look at incorporating Canva into Canvas and how you can create a Canva Canvas assignment. Lots of tongue twisters today uh, with Canva and Canvas, I guess. Canva Canvas. Canva. Why did they make them so similar? I don't know. Canva is a great replacement for Google slide assignments. I highly encourage you to try it out. You can customize them however you like. I really think they're great for student posters or infographics. Now, of course, before I show you how to incorporate Canva into Canvas, I would greatly appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to my channel. That just helps me with the YouTube algorithm, reaching more teachers that need Canvas assistance. So let me show you today how you can use Canva in Canvas. The first step in creating a Canva Canvas assignment is we need to add the app into our course. So we're gonna do that by going to settings and then going to apps. Now we can scroll through and try to find the app. There's tons of apps. I definitely suggest you go through a lot of them and see which ones are available to you. Um, but Canva is free for teachers, we do know that. So we are going to type in Canva into the search select it, and then we're gonna click this add app. Now, we are going to keep this name, so we can change this if you want to, if you just wanna write Canva for short, that's fine, but we're just gonna leave it. And this is the name that's going to appear over here on our course navigation bar. But to add it, we need a consumer key and a shared secret. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Canva in my tab up here, and we're gonna find that consumer key and shared secret. Well, how we do that is in my teacher Canva account, I'm going to go to account settings, and then on the left side, we have a lot of options, but the one that we need to pay attention to is the LMS integrations right here. Now, you definitely need to make sure that when you are logging into your Canva account that you have a teacher Canva account, otherwise this LMS integrations option will not appear. We're going to bypass all of this top information, go to connect your LMS using LTI. For this video, my LTI integration, we have the consumer key and the shared secret. If you have a more updated version of Canvas, you might be using the LTI 1.3, which has some different options for you here. But we're gonna click on LTI 1.1, and here's our consumer key. We're going to copy it, return to Canvas, add the app, and paste that in, then go back to Canva <laughs> and copy the shared secret, return, paste that shared secret in, and then add the app. And it says the app was added successfully. We should, once it refreshes, see it appear on this side as well. So let's click the home. Yep, and now we have Canva for educators. Now, all we have to do, now that we have the app in our course, is we need to sync our Canva account with our Canvas account. You need to make sure that the Canvas account that you are using and the Canva account have the same emails, otherwise it kind of doesn't work very well. So for Canva for educators, I'm just going to click it to sync it. It logged me in through Canvas into my Canva account. So now the two are syncing and essentially talking to each other. So now I can go back into my Canvas account and create an assignment. All right, so we're back in Canvas and we're going to create our Canva assignment. I have created a blank assignment. When I click on it, you'll see it is completely empty. There's nothing in it but we're gonna fill it right now. Go to edit. Within edit mode, we're gonna pay a lot of attention to our rich content editing tools. So we're gonna go over to the plug and view all the applications that we have. And you'll notice the first one up here is Canva for educators. I'm going to select this and it's going to open up all of my designs that I've made in Canva. I can choose a worksheet that I've created in Canva 
and import it into my assignment or really embed it into the assignment. So I am just going to choose this one that I've created and it's going to ask me a couple questions. Share to Canvas and we're going to embed it into the page and then we do not want it to be view design only. We want it to be new design for each student. So that way when they click on it, it'll create their own copy. Wonderful. And then it's going to appear within the rich content editor. And what's very important is this link. It's a start activity link here. And you need to make sure that you do not delete this link because this is where the students are going to access the Canva copy. So one thing you can do, of course, is in link options where it says add a heading, we can put the name of the activity. So I'll just say science worksheet. And that way I'm not disrupting um, the link that you see right here. I'm just changing the name of the activity that they're going to do. Then we're going to scroll down. You can add your point values. I'm just going to do uh, five for today. Then this is extremely important, the submission type. So we are going to choose online submission type and you want to click website URL and file upload. So we have those two options. And then you can add your due dates, whatever other customization for this assignment that you would like or other features. And then we're going to click save and publish. And now this assignment is ready for your students to interact with. So what you're seeing now is me inside of the same course, but now I'm enrolled as a student. So I've created a mock student account in the same course, and we are going to enter the assignment. So I'm a student. I'm going to click on it. I open it. I see all the details, and I get to see a preview of the assignment that I will be completing. So in order to complete this, I have to select the start activity link. And it's going to take me to Canva, where I now have my own copy. Now, of course, if I'm a new student to Canva, it's going to ask me to create an account. And then once I've created the account, this page will appear. So now I can interact with this. So now as a student, I've altered my assignment. I've added some text. I added a cute little picture of a panda. And I'm ready to submit. So what I'm going to do now as a student, I'm going to go back to my Canvas assignment and click Start Assignment. Now we're going to scroll down. So you have some options. We have File Upload, Website URL. The one we're going to focus on is Canva for education. But of course, we could actually do a file upload. So if you wanted your students to download this onto their computer by doing Share and Download, as a PDF, they could definitely do that and then upload it to Canvas. But we're gonna click on Canva for educators. To find my document, I'm going to go to designs and here is the design that I want to add to my Canvas assignment and we're going to click submit. And then as a student, we're done. We have completed our assignment. The last thing that I'm going to show you is what a Canva assignment looks like in Canvas when you grade it. So I'm back in my teacher account. In the assignment, I'm going to click on speed grader. I'm going to grade the assignment that the student just submitted. And Canva is going to open up for me and I can grade it right here. I can see that the student answered the question, assign them a five out of five score, and then that's it. You're done. That's how a Canva assignment works in Canvas. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope that it encourages you to try something out of the box. I hope this video highlights some of the benefits of using Canva within your Canvas course. If you decide to use it in your classroom, I would love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments below if you used it and if it was successful or any challenges maybe that you had. That would really be great for other people to hear as well. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.